So the strength curve of the hip extensors, okay? So every time you do a hip extension, during the exercise, it affects a different point of overload in the strength curve. So the posterior chain, hip extensors, you have the bottom range, you have the mid range, and you have the end range, okay? Now, if, Alex, come here. So do a good morning, okay? Okay, so now stay in the bottom position, okay? So now there's two things. So you have the moment arm, so, so that's like your lever arm right here, okay? So that's what's supporting the load, so that's what's creating tension. Now you have gravity, so gravity is having its effect on her posterior chain as she's in the bottom position, okay? So if you look at the angle here, it's 90 degrees to her femur, the torso, it's 90 degrees. So this, the good morning, strengthen the bottom range of the strength curve of the hip extensor. Okay. okay, cool. Now on the flip side, if we're doing a Romanian deadlift, or a 45 degree back extension. Okay, so now go down, go down, go down, go down, come back up, slowly, down, right there. Right there is where gravity has its action, she has the most tension, okay? But if you look at the angle torso, the femur, now it's not 90 degrees like, this, like the good morning, it's like 135 degrees, okay? So now, this, it strengthens the mid part of the range. Now, so the good morning too then. Good morning's the bottom. No, no, sorry, not uh, the uh, Romanian. The Romanian, yeah, well, Romanian's the mid part of the range. Okay. Now, if we do the horizontal back extension or the reverse hyper, okay, so now, go down, Okay, wait, okay, stay there. So if we, let's say we, we transpose or we put her standing up in this exact same position, okay, that would be the good morning, right? Okay, but now it doesn't strengthen the bottom range because the, the gravity is, is having its effect on nothing, okay? Now go up a little bit, right there, what would that be? It would be the 45 degree back extension of good morning if she were standing up, uh, Romanian deadlift. Mm -hmm. Now go all the way up, bam. Now, moment arm, it's his effect, gravity. Now, that's where his attention is, torso to femur. Now, we have 180 degrees. Okay, so that's the end range. Okay, okay? but one, one thing, too, stay there. One thing I want to <laughs> point out, you can go on the bottom. Go to the bottom. Not all machines are created equal, okay? And the thing about the, uh, the Atlantis back, uh, horizontal back extension that I really like, you guys notice there's no foot pad in the back. Most machines have a foot pad, so what happens is people, they plant their flex and push with their feet into the foot pad, okay? But here, there's a crossbar in front of the foot, so you as the lifter, you have to dorsiflex the foot in order to create balance. But what happens is by dorsiflexing the foot, you're, you're pre-stretching the gastroc, creating more stretch, which in, in, enables more tension on your hamstring. So it's like a double whammy effect. I really like this machine for that. <clears throat>